Hello and welcome to another Tunisian crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple eyelet stitch um, working yarn overs and Tunisian simple stitches. This is a very simple stitch pattern which is worked over an odd number of stitches and it is one row repeat. Okay, so let's start with our foundation row. Foundation row is the standard foundation row which we work for most um, stitches and most projects. So we start with a slip knot, and as I mentioned, this stitch pattern is worked over an odd number of stitches. So let's start with a nine, three, and Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's our foundation chain. And now um, we are going to be picking up stitches in the back bumps of these chains. I mentioned in some of my previous videos that there are several ways how to how you can start your Tunisian crochet project, and also it is your personal preference where you would like to work your um, foundation row. You can work it into the back bump into the top um, loop of the, your chains or into the bottom loop of your chains. My personal preference is to work into the back bumps as it creates very nice and neat bottom edge of your project, which is very easy to work at border, join if you work um, flat project that you need to um, seam at the end and so on. So we are working stitches into these back bumps. Okay, so let's just double check that we've got nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Perfect. Now we are going to be working our standard return pass, and that is for the um, for all the rows in this um, stitch pattern. So we chain one, we yarn over, pull through two yarn over pull through two all the way to the end so this is standard return pass and this brings us to the beginning of a project where we are going to start working our stitch pattern okay so first we don't work this uh, first bar because you've got one loop on your hook already and this stitch corresponds to the loop on your hook that's why we are not working this first bar in most Tunisian crochet projects this would not be worked however I use this as a decorative edge for my Helen shawl that you can find on my on my blog and um, I use this uh, first stitch to work increases okay so in most cases you would not work the stitch but some in some instances you might decide to do this okay so let's get back to our stitch pattern so we start with yarn over and because we introduced this extra loop on the hook which corresponds to the stitch below we are not going to be working this stitch here okay so we've got the yarn over and then we are working Tunisian simple stitch into the next stitch so Tunisian simple stitch is worked from right to left under the front vertical bar insert the hook in this direction yarn over and pull up a loop Okay, and we are going to be continuing this to the end of our row. So again, we work yarn over, we skip the stitch below and work the next stitch as a Tunisian simple stitch. Again, yarn over, skip the stitch and work Tunisian simple. Now, we've got two um, stitches left, this and then the edge stitch. So we are going to be working another yarn over and work our edge stitch. Edge stitch is worked under both of these bars of the last stitch. We yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay, now again, as I mentioned, we are working standard return pass. So we yarn over, pull through one, or this is also known as chain one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the end of the row. Again, this brings us to the beginning of our project. Okay, 
and now we are going to be working exactly the same stitch pattern as in the row below so again we start with yarn over and then tunisian simple stitch into the tunisian simple stitch below again yarn over and tunisian simple stitch yarn over and tunisian simple stitch and yarn over and working the edge stitch okay so on the way back again we are going to be working our standard return pass of chain one yarn over pull through two all the way to the back okay and that's it this is how you work the basic eyelet stitch using yarn overs and tunisian simple stitch this is really nice simple eyelet that you can use in your project it will open up and it will really show those spaces once you block your project if you need to work stitches uh, into the the whole kind of your stitches you work into these yarn overs it might seem as if they disappeared but these stitches are still there so if you then for example decide to work row of tunisian simple stitch all the way you would work into the yarn over like so and then Tunisian simple and then you would do Tunisian simple again you just need to find the yarn over the stitches are not lost they are there they have very simply just turned into yarn overs okay so again just to recap this stitch pattern is work over an odd number of stitches and it is one row repeat of working yarn over skipping a stitch below and then working tunisian simple stitch into the next stitch okay thank you very much for watching as always please let me know in the comments below whether you knew this how to work this eyelet stitch what you would use it for please um, share this video with your friends and like and thank you very much again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye